Hello, Hello LA LA community. Hello, LA 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 graduates. Please, Please remain standing for the national anthem, anthem performed by Hellgate Senior Gabriel on the screen behind me. Thank, Thank you. you. Are you, you may be seated. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. For those who I am not met, my, my name is Rob Watson, and, and as superintendent of Missoula County Public Schools, it is, is my sincere privilege to, to be with you here today celebrating the 2021 Hellgate graduating class. class. We, we at the Missoula County Public Schools acknowledge that today we are gathered on indigenous territory. The Missoula Valley was historically inhabited by the Salish, Kootenai, Bondare, and Kalispell people, as well as many other tribes, including Blackfeet, Shoshone, Crow, Nesters, and Kiowa, that frequently pass through this area. We honor the original stewards of this land and their descendants, many of whom are with us here today. At NCDS, we are committed to showing gratitude for this land and its indigenous people by respecting and remembering this in our conversations, our activities, and our events. Thank you. Hello, I want to extend a huge thank you to all of you who have helped this remarkable year take place. Thank you to Jay for four years of remarkable performances and sharing the work with all of us. And thanks to our entire night community for making this day possible. My name is Justin Miller, and I have the distinct honor of welcoming all of you to this graduation ceremony for the class of 2021. Today's event marks the culmination of years of hard work and effort from everyone in the stadium. I am honored to share this very unique morning with all of you as both an educator and the principal of Hellgate High School. You have been a remarkable class, and it is fitting that we end our tenure together under some unique circumstances. Last year, I was very uncertain about our year, what our year would look like together. Again, we are embarking on a ceremony without a rehearsal. I am confident that you, of all classes, will make this look easy. You don't need to rehearse. You were born for mastering big moments. I want to acknowledge ahead of time that Hellgate is a special school. We are a unique group of individuals who lead and innovate in a variety of different ways. It is fitting that we are here on the day of graduation as pioneers dressed in gowns with funny hats, knowing in our hearts that we are all knights. 
I ask our audience for good patience and grace as we navigate this special day unrehearsed with COVID constraints. Together, we will all ensure that the class of 2021 leaves us with the same impressive and unforgivable mastery and swagger they started with four years ago. Before we begin our formal ceremony, I would like to ask all of you for two favors to ensure that graduation is a special event for everyone in attendance. First of all, graduates, even though we are recognizing your achievements today, this diploma is not yours alone. Please look around you, your family, your friends, this community, and our entire staff took a part in your graduation success. Graduates, when you answer this ceremony, please take a moment to thank all of the people who helped you create this special honor. And don't be embarrassed when someone hugs, cries, or says they love you after the ceremony. It is okay to appreciate and recognize everyone who helped you along the way. Audience, please help all of us during this ceremony. Please refrain from excessive noise making, shouting, or otherwise distracting our readers during both the speeches and the diploma distribution. Each student and family has earned the privilege of hearing the name of their graduate and watching each student's special moment on stage. Distracting noises forever drowns out the name of the next graduate, preventing everyone from experiencing the same recognition. We have created time for cheering and celebration once every graduate has had the opportunity to receive their diploma. In short, please refrain from making excessive noise so every family can enjoy the same privilege. Enough from me. We are all here for you, and we are going to kick it off with a special graduation message from our guest speaker, Tyler Hamilton. Tyler is a retired professional American cyclist who raced for 14 years, competed in 11 grand tours, including the Tour de France, eight times. Tyler is also a New York Times bestselling author. Without further ado, Tyler Hamilton. Uh, thank, thank you, you Judson. Um, it's, it's really an honor to be here, here so and thank you for the invitation. Uh, frankly, I struggled a little bit, or actually a lot of it, on uh, what I was going to say. say. If you know anything about me, you know I'm not the guy whose footsteps is more follow. And I bet there, there are a few of you out there that might have judged me even standing here. And I get it. My story is a little different. I was once one of the world's top cyclists. I was an Olympic gold medalist. I raced the Tour de France eight times, and I was hoping to win it one day. After testing positive for performance and injury drugs, my entire world came crashing down, and I lost everything I worked for. I could stand here today and tell you that everyone else was doing it, that my team doctors, me to tell you any of the other things I used to tell myself back then to justify what was really happening. The truth was simple. I was turning my back on my values and everything I believed in to chase the dream I so badly wanted. It wasn't until the U.S. government launched a federal investigation and I was forced to tell the truth or face jail time for lying. But I realized just how crazy it all was. That leads me to the things I want to share with you today. Number one, the only person who can, who can validate you is you. When my team doctor handed me that little red pill for the first time, it almost felt like a badge of honor. They think I'm good, good enough to join this club. It's messed up, up, I know. I put way, way too much value into what others thought. I, I swallowed it, and regardless of what, what my guy was telling me. Which leads me to number two. 
trust your God in every profession, in every sport, in every group. People around you will tell you it's okay to cut corners. It's okay to bend the rules. And it's okay to look the other way. Your God will kick it in, kick it in. and when it does, listen. You know, if something, if something doesn't feel right, it's not right. Don't ever second guess yourself. Number three, you are enough. When I look back at my cycling career, the best times were the early years. When it was just me, my abilities, and my work ethic. That's what got me to the big days. And I'll always be proud of that. If I hadn't taken that little red pill and packed my bags instead, I would have still gone home happy and with what I accomplished, knowing I'd given everything I had. And lastly, number four, the rest of your life is about the journey, not where you end up. No matter what you achieve in your life, whether it's getting your dream job, building a multi-million dollar company, or winning an Olympic gold medal, if you're not proud of how you got there, it won't feel good. I promise you. But you know what does feel good? Be true to yourself at every step, even when it's hard, and even when the reward seems too good to pass up. In 2010, almost a decade after I stood on the podium in Athens, I gave my gold medal back. And I can stand here today and tell you, without a doubt, getting it back felt 100 times better than ever women ever did. Thank you, and good luck, class of 2021. Please direct, direct your attention, attention to the screen behind us for the Helgate Choir.
That was impressive. And I want to take a moment to talk about our music program. We are privileged to have Ella McKenzie, Leon Slater, and Ryan Davis as part of our school. Today, you saw the full extent of their work, flexibility, and care each one of them puts into educating our nights. The collaboration of our student body and our music teachers make us all look good. We are here as a few more items through the ceremony. Know that there is a quality in a public high school is a mini marvel. Most schools don't get to experience the type of a public praise and music quality that we all get to see on this day, especially under COVID constraints. It's a testament to collective work and sacrifice that goes into our programs every day. Speaking of work and sacrifice, under the guidance of our student government, our advisor, Melissa Mandel, our next speakers are a group of students that were elected by our student body as both well the class presidents and the overall student body presidents. They have seen us through construction, a pandemic, and now helped us out the other side in what feels like a pretty normal graduation. I am excited to direct everyone's attention to our next speakers and government leaders. Please help me by welcoming Avery Maxwell and Waverly Winter. Then COVID-19 hit, offering the 
spring break, marking the end of our junior year. Senior year was off with a 10 a.m. start. Twice a week, we would break at entering the building to receive an in person meditation instead of muted microphones, malfunctioning Zoom, and broken Google Classrooms that would prevent us from turning in our assignments on time. As the school year progressed, we had to begin going to school five days a week. Can you imagine? It was draining. We were all exhausted, and it severely exacerbated our state of senior rights. A lot of us took many mental health days, and then in the week of May 10th to 14th, a jam-packed week for all the rest of the South and the fall and the rest of the year. We had a homecoming week where the audience may have not qualified for a casual dinner at Grandma's house. Spirit competition between a Hellgate, Senna, and a Big Five, where a Hellgate proved yet again that we are the most spirited school, even if we weren't the best at Christmas. And we didn't even let us have a broken bone stop us from showing off our school pride. This all being followed by an amazing night of dancing at the house of our first and only time. After this very long year of only seeing each other in the nose off, gousing our students way too much against each other, and just keeping our thoughts on each other, we are now graduating. Through this, we become stronger as a class, and now we're even more prepared to take on our lives as adults. Now, look around you. These are the people we nervously walked into the building with for the first time in freshman year. Now, as we sit here side by side, the first time in two years, we finish our high school career as we started together. As we walk out into the world, let us remember these moments that were shared, and let that bring us together as we scatter across the world. We could have not asked for a better end to an amazing career than our fellow classmates, friends, and adults. Standing here today, And Mr. Boyle would remind us, don't drink your bath water. Oh, and how you always remember to be safe, be respectful, be responsible, be a graduate, and be a knight. Congratulations. When I said that our class was impressive, I bet you weren't expecting that I would omit one of the pages of the speech by accident, and they covered it without a hitch. Well done. I would like to thank all of you for an unforgettable year and the personality and the quality of your collective work. Additionally, I need to express a deep and heartfelt thank you to our entire Howie High School staff. The effort and care they put into helping our school through this pandemic has been unprecedented. All contribute to making our school remarkable. Their work keeps our school safe, welcoming, and keeps the focus on learning. Thank you. Now for the main event. We are transitioning to the formal ceremony and the reading of the names. I am going to reintroduce Dr. Rob Watson, who will transition our group to the official ceremony and the reading of the names. I will now officially present the Hellgate Class of 2021 for graduation. By the authority vested in me as superintendent of Missoula County Public Schools, it is my pleasure to present to the Board of Trustees the graduating class of 2021, having met all the requirements for graduation under district policy and the Montana Board of Public Education standards. Graduates, as directed, please stand row by row and approach the stage to receive your diplomas. Congratulations. Adams. 
Hannah Adams. Ronan Aaron. Kika Alfredo. Cole Amos. Jordan Anderson. Lila Andrew. Maisie Archer. Bennett Archer. Lindsay Arsenovitz. Krista Arsenio. Ashwell Azan. Julian Bay. Owen Martin. Cheyenne Barnes. Greta Bonsmark. Sophie Dean. Oliver Beck. Brianna Begay. Elias Bell. Chloe Burdine. Sage Bessett. Sophie Bell. Austin Bessett. Daniel Blackwell. Atkins Bliss. Haley Goodman. Dennis Bowman. Nicholas Rayner. Rebecca Brennan. Dustin Brewer. Jane Brewer Gravel. Sage Brooks. Lucy Buck. Josephine Carnegie. Shelby Case. Alex Trudell. Haley Shabbat. Veronica Chapin. Philip Chow. Thomas Chase. Alexa Charles Aguirre. Riley Clark. Eric Colhars. Miles Colstock. Brayden Collar. Austin Colville. Anya Craig, Keegan Crow, Kane Dawson, Zachary Carlson, Baskin Dale Brown, Amaka Dillon, Lauren Dreesen, Reggie Deuce. Is it about Emma Nolte? Devon Eamon. Ethan Epperhart. Nina Irving. Sidney Escobar. Blake Everett. Ren Bolotti. Ignatius Fitzgerald. Eli Ferguson. Charlie Frost. 
by the name of a never Zach Garcia, Lucia Gar. Sophia Geronimus, Dylan Jarr, Andrea Strinson, Jesse Gibson, Grace Gibson Snyder, Kayla Gossie, Bobby Gossie, Boom, Robertson Donaldson. Terrence Graham. Dean Greenwood. Wyatt Dunlop. McKinley Hemel. Dominic Haney. Ryan Hanks, Shelly Heron, Colin Murphy, Hunter Harrington, Liam Harrington, Samuel Hubbard, Magnolia Hiller. Hey, See you uh, Esther. Miles Howard. Zoe Hosey. Sarah Hunter. Melody Irvine. Justin James. Zach Johnson, Marion Jones, Gabriel Kedor, Finley Kearns, Kelvin Jack, Abby Kendrick, Patrick Kennedy, Michaela Kennedy Harris, Solomon Kimberly, Mateo Kimberly, Jonathan Kincaid, Rex Tony, Caitlin Fuller, Diane Montier, Timothy Hughes, Scott Larson, Patty Guy, Ashton Roman Lawrence, Kiara Lawrence, Christopher Ledyard. Keyshawn Lee, Lauren Lee, Libby Lee, Harrison Long, Aubrey Lutley, Eric Lund, Josephine McDonald. Chris Lynn Knapp, Riley May, Cassidy Martin, Colin Martin, Joshua Mon, Avery Maxwell. 
Sierra McBride. Kennedy McCulloch. Drew McMahon. And I got up again. Zoe McGowan, Liam McNair, Zydeka McDay, A. Miller, Ari Lorani, Zoe Monson, Corin Morgan, Lynn Moranovo, Katie Morrison, Walter J. Morris, Katie Munden, Wolf Myers, Tim Mohawk, Adam Wheatley, Natalie Yeager, Harley Deer, Vanessa Nichols, Brendan Lover, Lawrence O'Connell, Bowen Oserman, Marcus O'Sawney, Leslie Park, Josephine Parker, Nicole Parker, Mary Parks, Kayla Paxton, Parker Pettigrew, Delaney Peterson. Rachel Peterson, Sophia Pierce, Rosie Powers, Michael Presley, Liam Guano, Colton Quirk. Hannah Jerry Neal, Kaylee Randall, Victoria Randall, Emily Ratz, Gabriel Ray. Xander Rygar, Shoshana Rezner, Colin Richardson, Griffin Ritter, Tristan Ritter, Antonio Rodriguez, India Romero, Alexander Russell, Kara Sanders, Ethan Schroeder, Ella Schwartz, Coral Soul Cooper, Haley Scott. Jara Salih, Aiden Service, Estelle Sergi, Julian Terrell, Brianna Sharp, Sam Silverson, Simon Silverstein. Michaela Sinclair, 
Susan Turner. Daniel Kilsan. Wade Scott. Amelia Slater. Kate Slating. Ashton Sly. Jalen Summer. Sophia Sly. Ray Stern. Rohan Steele. Madison Stickler. Veronica Simpley. Grant Story. Paxson Swerk. Jordan Tack. Carly Taylor. Joan Tisdale. Brayden Trisolo. Taylor Thorne. John Tony. Morgan Cox. Zara Trammelmores. Alexis Tucker Fielbar. Andrew Omnipi. Olivia Upton. Olivia Gessevich. Josh Wade. William Wakefield. Garrett Wallace. Joe Washburn. Gabrielle Wallenstein. Kennedy Wells. Hannah Wilkie. Gage West. Anthony Westbrook. Kaylin Wright. Maxim Winter. Wesley Winter. Ryan Wolfgang. Sarah Wolf. Zachary Wolf. Lily Wright. Let's give our graduates one more big round of applause. All right, we have one final ask, which is a healthy tradition. We are going to remember the ceremony of graduation back into the celebration of graduation. So if you please turn your attention to our class presidents, Avery and Waverly. They're going to send us out of style.